Gypsy Rose Blanchard posted this to her Facebook page on November 2nd, and it reads, eventually the cameras, the fans, haters alike will disappear. And when everyone has had their bite of the pie, what is left is a woman with trust issues, low self-esteem and emotional baggage that prize eyes of the public will never see. I leave my most vulnerable self to the ones I cannot hide from, the ones who see my struggle when I wipe my tears, pat my makeup under my eyes, and put on my smile as fake as a smile reflects back at me. You're so inspiring. And we want the best for you, I'm told by journalists and producers. Their voices clash with the agenda. The mask is on. Smile. So the other night I was laying in bed and I was thinking to myself, Melissa Moore is the head of everything going on with Gypsy right now. What is her end game? Like, where does she see this ending? Like, the public is sort of aware of what's going on, right? Um, certain news outlets, I feel like, are making it more and more prevalent. So what is Melissa Moore's endgame? Because she's being dragged right now, right? What is her endgame? And I think I figured it out. I really do. So just follow me, okay? And I'm going to revert back to that post. If you really re read it and pay attention to what she says, right? She said that they all say you're inspiring. I want the best for you. But what they're saying clashes with the agenda. What does that mean? Gypsy knows that she's corrupt and Gypsy knows she has done some awful things and still does. And she, she has not changed, right? The world that knows of her knows this, right? So what would be Melissa Moore's end game, right? Well, I believe Melissa Moore is fully aware of what's going on and at the end of the day, Melissa Moore doesn't care about Gypsy. Gypsy is going to be who she is. But in real life, do you see Melissa Moore hanging out with Gypsy Rose at that type of baby showers? Like in her mind, she's above that, right? You could tell by what she normally does, right? Okay. But she's inserted herself into Gypsy's life so much. I think she's gonna expose her bookie don't come back and say you heard it here first right i think what's gonna happen and this is just a guess i think melissa moore is going to try to save her own butt and she knows that the public knows what's going on and for her to be the one to so to speak discover that she is not a changed person and then discover that these were all lies makes more sense and she would make more money she would be able to write a book she would be able to make a whole nother documentary. She would really get the bag with exposing her, right? And then she would save her name because that would be what journalism is, right? And I would venture to say, and I don't know, look, I feel like we're doing mental gymnastics with, with whether she's pregnant or not because I really was convinced that she was pregnant until last night when I saw that picture and this picture right here. She doesn't look pregnant at all. The man in the comments said, he had no idea she was pregnant. He would have never known, right? That's all odd. But if she is pregnant, I would venture to say she would have this kid. Something's gonna happen as far as CPS is concerned. And then they're gonna villainize her. Christy and Mike Stanfield, I would venture to say, is all in cahoots with this. Because Christy, remember that person told me months ago that when Christy was on her, you know, not all the way there. She was, you know, had her a little drink, a drink, uh, or a couple. And she was expressing her fears of Gypsy turning on her. Why wouldn't Christy be in cahoots with us? See, Christy, she, she not all the way there, but she a little bit there. Okay. And Mike Stanfield, he didn't become a lawyer just by, you know, playing a fool. Baby, I think we are gonna see some scandalous happen. I would really venture to say to you guys that we are gonna see something scandalous happen. And Gypsy doesn't even know it. She knows a little bit, like she has an idea that they have a different agenda, but I don't think she understands the magnitude of how Melissa Moore Lifetime will be able to capitalize off of this. And what's left is gonna be the fool that you made out of your mama.
and Nicholas Godejan. Because baby, one thing about karma, I will say it again, it will always spin the block. And for some reason, you think that it doesn't touch you. But it's impossible for it to not touch you. That's not how life works. And the longer karma takes to spin a block on you, baby, it's the worst it's going to be. And that's because of the things that you have really done. And then you turn around and try to play victim. You have a man sitting in prison for life that is disabled and was collecting a permanent disability check. It takes a special type of evil person to do that. It does. It has to. And if you don't think that things are going to turn around, I think Miss Melissa Moore is onto something. And I think Christie's like, baby. Now, I know this is going to be far-fetched, and I even think I sound crazy saying this, but I'm just wondering, does she have a surrogate? Because how does she go from being looking pregnant to not being pregnant? And this has been happening for months. And y'all keep trying to gaslight me and tell me I'm crazy. Look, I know one plus one is two. And when one plus one equals ten, something's not right. And that's where I'm at with this. Come on. I would venture to say Melissa Moore is going to say she didn't know that she had a chromosome disorder. She ended up discovering that. Um, and this is going to get a little crazy. I would really venture to say that. I think we really need to keep our eyes and ears open because, baby, when this all comes, don't say I didn't come and tell y'all. I Don't say I didn't tell y'all this because I just... I really was sitting in bed like there has to be an end game like where does she see this ending and where does it end where it would make sense that's the only way it would make sense because the world knows this is all a scam so how else would this all make sense that's the only thing I could think of tell me if y'all think I wanted something because Melissa Moore don't want to be dragged for no gypsy rose blanchard Melissa's like, I have worked too hard in my career. So, baby, I'm going to air you out before you ever make me look a full bookie. <laughs> okay? okay? I, I just, I don't see Melissa Moore letting this affect her career. What do y'all think? That is what I would venture to say.